Okay, in this video we're checking out the Larva X from Happy Mile. This is another toothpick style drone here, but it's sort of like an upgraded version of the Sailfly X. And this comes with a better motors. It's got the 1103 7000 kV motors here. Uh, three millimeter bottom plate. It's got an upgraded all-in-one flight control. This is the new um, Crazy B F4 version 3.0. It has a, uh, a 10 amp 4-in-1 AC now. And I think they fixed the capacitor issue. There's, not, there's no capacitor on the plug anymore. I think they've added those to the board itself. This one here is the onboard receiver version. I'll explain. I'll talk about that here in a little bit. Um, comes with a Diamond VTX uh, that I, I already, did, already did a review video on. It's a video transmitter, 25, 200 milliwatts, plus an onboard DVR so you can put a micro SD card here, record your uh, uh, flights there from straight from the camera and uh, you get no uh, video breakup obviously in those recordings. You'll see that a little bit later. It does come with the uh, Emacs Avon Micro 2.5 inch props here instead of the bi-bladed props. Um, yeah, and they got the Runcam Nano 2 for the camera. So overall pretty nice package here. The frame is fairly stiff at 3 millimeters thick and fairly solid. I think the only thing I would change about this build would be these um, standoffs here are these screws that hold everything together these little white ones here uh, that are nylon i think that those should be steel it does cause the top to wiggle a little bit there wasn't really any jello and from the canopy but yeah something that i think they could change i'm going to suggest that to them now the canopy here is not a final version for sure this is a 3d printed canopy it's it's not tpu it's like some sort of a pla or abs or something like that it's pretty hard but the final version of the canopy is going to be um, uh, molded plastic. So and I'm not sure what the color is going to be. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on what colors that they should use, let me know in the comments below and I'll pass that on. As well as any other suggestions you think about this model. Um, this is still technically a prototype. It's not a final version. Uh, this one here does come with the FreeSky SPI receiver. You can see the little antenna right there. It's kind of hard to see. Um, so, not the best range, of course, with the onboard SPI receiver. Uh, so if you're looking for a better range, there is the plug-and-play version. It does not have an onboard receiver. You can add your own receiver. There's an RXSR version, and there's also a Crossfire Nano version. Actually, that's the one that I'm actually going to request and see if I can't uh, see how, how that performs, because I'm kind of curious where they're going to stick that Crossfire Nano receiver as well as the antenna. That should be an interesting product, I think. So. That'll be, of course, down the road, um, not right now, not obviously in this video. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I like the product pretty solid in terms of the design and the build. Obviously, it's a toothpick style. This design here, you know, there's a lot of uh, these toothpick style quads out now, so nothing too particularly, you know, innovative or different compared to a lot of the other ones that we've seen already on my channel. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you what the weight is. Okay, so here's the weight without any battery, uh, just I'm under 50 grams, and I'm using a 3S 300 milliamp hour high volt. This is one that's from URUAV. There's ones from Eshin, Happy Model, GNB, and Crazy Pony. I think they're all made at the same place, but this is the battery that I I use for my flights. And so, with the battery together, it's coming at 75.75 grams. I would say that um, if you want a little bit more flight time. You know, I was probably getting about three minutes on this battery. If you want more flight time, go to like a 453S. Um, I did have to adjust the tune that they provided. I think that they tune this for a 354S, and uh, I didn't really like that tune too much. Now, I'm told that that's probably going to change, so I'm not going to you know, knock them too much for the tune because it's not the final version. But I did adjust the PIDs a little bit for this battery and I got a pretty good fly. I mean, I was pretty happy with just making some really minor adjustments and using this battery. I thought it flew pretty good. So, uh, when I get the final version, if the if onboard PIDs aren't any good, I will probably do a PID video later on, but uh, not for this particular video because this is not a final version right now. Anyway, so overall I thought this flew pretty good. I think that uh, there's a few minor things that I would suggest that they tweak, but I think this is uh, almost a pretty much a finished product here. And I definitely would recommend you check it out if you're interested in a bind and fly ready to go uh, toothpick style quad with onboard video recording. Anyway, here's some flight footage for you, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.